Yeah, I have a legit question about bullying. And the type of bullying I mean is involving masks, wearing masks. When you go out for grocery shopping or whatever it is the case, wherever you have to wear a mask. For the people that cannot wear a mask, okay? That have an exemption, that have um, asthma, that has a good reason for not wearing a mask. Medically, spiritually, mentally, there's many, many reasons why someone cannot wear a mask. What happens to these people? Well, where is it fair for these people when they walk into a store without a mask? The bullying they have to endure for not wearing one. So, I'm one of them. I'm one of those people that cannot wear a mask. And I have an exemption from my doctor. And still, I choose to wear a mask under my nose because I, I have to breathe. Um, because I want to avoid getting bullied. Bullying is not pleasant for anyone. Okay, bullying can lead people to suicide. Bullying can lead people to self-destruction, to, to hate, to, you know. Bullying is just evil. It's not good for a person to be bullied. So, if, like for example, I am very strong. When someone bullies me, it doesn't affect me at all. But for the people that are not strong, and are in my shoes and can't wear a mask and have to go and buy groceries. What do they do? How is it fair for them to get bullied from the people at the store that are living in fear and, and condemning the person not wearing a mask, screaming at them to wear a mask and to even be called a murderer? Yes, you heard me. I've been called a murderer for not wearing a mask. How, like, where does that, how is that even fair? How, I don't even know what kind of question to ask. It's not normal, it's not right to be bullied because someone cannot wear a mask. If you're going to see someone not wear a mask and come towards you and you're afraid, walk away, walk away, go somewhere else. Practice the, 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 the safe distance. Just don't scream at them. Don't try to make that person feel like they're a freaking murderer for not wearing a mask. You know what I mean? Like I'm talking to you people who are living in fear, but such fear, such depth of fear that you, you have to bully others for not having the same fear, for not sharing the same fear. Don't hate on them. Don't hate on those people that cannot wear a mask. If you're afraid, walk away. Don't go to public places. Stay home if you're afraid to get sick, if you're afraid to get the virus. Stay home. If you are immune compromised, if you are weak, your system is weak and you're afraid to die from that virus, stay home. Because there are people out there who cannot wear a mask and they deserve to live, okay? To go buy groceries, to do things as a normal person would do. They're also allowed to do these things. Doesn't make sense how they have to get bullied. These people, some of them could be very, very fragile and will get bullied by the fearful people because they're not wearing a mask. It's not fair. They, they, they could be pushed into depression. It could be, it could affect that person very, very badly. So why? So I, I believe bullying is just wrong. And sometimes I wish I could just not wear my mask, go inside a store, Start filming and, and show you guys all the hate and bullying I will get my way. It's disgusting. 
it's 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 completely disgusting it it baffles me how people can be so evil because of fear you know it doesn't make sense if you have that much fear stay home <laughs> you know I get it all of you who believe the mask actually protects you and and protects others and and all of that stuff I get it and I get the anti-maskers I'm obviously an anti-masker <laughs> but I also will respect you if you're afraid if you if I meet with someone and they're really legit afraid of dying I will wear a mask like I'm not gonna be a bitch right I'm gonna I'm gonna wear the mask because I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable so I'm not an anti-masker in the way that I'm gonna mock you and put it in your face that they're not right I'll wear the mask if I have to if I feel convicted to wear it I will wear it I won't make a fuss but I don't believe masks are effective, literally. I don't know how else to say this. I don't believe they're effective. I don't believe they're going to save your life. I don't believe they're going to save my life. I don't believe they are protecting you from a virus. I'm just not an advocate for bullying. And the masks have been a great culprit to get the bullies out of their holes and, and come out and bully people. Like I've never seen so much bullies in my entire life and the masks are the reason that these bullies are coming out of their holes. Get back into your holes, bullies. Like stop bullying people for not wanting to wear a mask or can wear a mask. Like whether you want to wear one or you can't wear one, it's irrelevant. If you see a person without a mask, don't bully them. It's that simple. If you don't like them not wearing a mask, walk away, turn around. It's not up to them to, to bend over backwards for your fear, okay? So turn around. And for the people that are anti-maskers, I don't believe it's right to to put up a front towards actual legit fearful people. If you come across people that are actually afraid, that are not bullying you, but they're afraid, then maybe you should wear a scarf or something. Like I don't know, but um, I don't think it's right to bring down the people that are pro maskers because you don't believe in masks you should we should honor all, all of each other we should respect each other we should um you know if you're living in fear and i'm not i'm not going to put that in your face and and not wear a mask and say you should not be living in fear no it doesn't work that way you know if they were living in fear they're convicted they're convinced that it's it's a fearful situation they want to wear a mask, they feel comfortable with that, so be it, okay? That's your life, that's that's cool. Like, I'm not going to condemn you for wanting to wear a mask because you're living in fear. We all live in certain fears. We all have certain fears that we deal with. And it's not everyone that's completely delivered from fear because, let's be honest, fear is not of the Lord, okay? Fear is of the enemy. So if you're living in fear, it's not godly. But anyways, I'm not going to mock you if you are afraid of the virus and want to wear a mask and want to get vaccinated. I'm not going to mock you. I'm going to respect you and say, okay, if you're convicted with that, it's your life, you know? And if, if you're afraid of being in front of me and I'm not wearing a mask, well, either walk away or if it's a situation where they can't walk away, I'll gladly wear a mask to make this person feel more comfortable so i i believe as christians we should be doing that um and not mock them or bring them down because of their weakness and their fears so 
it's a tricky situation obviously um, but I did have to say one thing about the masks because the bullying is just so much it's so much and I'm tired of the bullying it's so horrible to see people getting bullied because they don't want to wear a mask that's it I really have to say something about that to see people walk in the streets with a mask on to see people drive in their cars with masks on it baffles me I'm so baffled. I'm I'm like I I need to stop here because I'm going to lose it. And I don't want to lose it. Let's do this, guys. I'm just I need food. I need food. What do you want me to do? I mean, I sometimes I use the the online service Instacart. Uh, for getting my di my groceries delivered at my house, but it gets expensive and I've already done it twice this week and I forgot a few items, so I'm not about to do it again and pay the the service fees for those items. So now I have no choice but to go to the store and buy those items. Therefore, I have to wear a freaking mask. So, yeah. Wish me luck, guys. Good morning. And uh, let me know what you think about getting bullied. Yeah? For not wearing a mask. I mean, I'm sure all of you do wear masks. But if one of you do have an exemption or a reason why you cannot wear a mask. And you try to go in the stores to buy yourself some food. What do you have to go through? what kind of bullying do you go through and how does it make you feel and what do you think about all of this mask business I like to know let's have a discussion about this because I'm pretty oh I'm uh, I'm getting sick and tired of this mask mandate are you let's chat Thanks for listening.